aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys, and welcome, of course, to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on today's episode, we're gonna look at Jolt Young, the electric dog, versus Manetric, the electric wolf. So, yeah, both canines or whatever. <laughs> and yes, I actually had a poll on Twitter where I asked you guys whether which one matchup you want to see, and I was not necessarily going to look at making an electric episode again, but these two has been compared against one another time after time, and people in general are fan favorite of Jolteon, and I can definitely see why, because it is the first real electric typing that does stand out from the first generation, and uh, Manectric may or may not actually getting the love that it does deserve because Manectric can do a lot of things that Jolteon cannot. And uh, while Jolteon is standing out as a prime electric type and definitely has the attack in, in mind, it still is something that to be considered that Manectric can do a few things that Jolteon definitely cannot. So with that said, we're going to look at more critically and see who is of course really better. So from a stat perspective, there really aren't that much between them that are a big change, though there are very very clear leaps between these Pokemon. As it goes for core HP, Manetri is slightly, and I really mean slightly more HP, it also has slightly more of Core's attack with 75 compared to 65, then of course the same defenses, then we have the slight advantage to Jolteon with a special attack of 110 over 105 against Manetric, and of course Jolteon has Definitely more special defense in 95 compared to 60. That's quite a leap, definitely. And of course, the speed is definitely something that stands out too. Manetric is not as fast as Jolteon. It is very, very far from it. While 105 is a speedy speed tier, 130 is definitely top 20 in the course of Pokemon speed tier. So it's very clear that Jolteon is not only faster, but also in theory more hard hitting. Now, of course, with that said, they are similar defensively, at least what their abilities are forcing them to do, but it's very clear that Jolteon still has that edge that is of course their stats, it simply are peaking a bit of things that Manetric clearly are not. So the only reason to these two to actually get compared is because of their move pool, because they're actually not different a lot, but they're different enough to make the one more usable than the other depending on which type of matchup you are of course facing. Now, with that said, what they do share is, of course, the likes of a Mud Slap. Well, I, I will only mention this because of C-Move Mud Slap, which is, of course, now a 100 special attack ground-based move. That's, that's pretty darn scary. And then, of course, they have Signal Mo Beam in common, and, of course, um, ooh, what do you call it? Signal Beam and uh, Magnet Rise, of course. But they're most fam famous, of course, for the Thunderbolt, Volt Switch shenanigans. But it's very good to know that these are the moves that share in common that are relevant and definitely worth Enforcing before we're actually being more specific. So if you're gonna go down to it, we're gonna start off with of course the Jolteon, because Jolteon has a niche here which clearly is outside of their hidden powers which you both can be using to of course take on the things they need to take on without being walled. Jolteon has one edge though and that is that it does get action to Shadow Ball which is a great filler move for neutral damage and uh, outside of that it does have a few physical a niche move with of course pin missile and double kick which while it doesn't have the physicality to pull it off it still is able to do it and of course baton pass to be able to get out of a tough spot and one should definitely not forget about of course the workout which actually makes it boost itself a little bit more than it's able to do and also a bit of another filler move that's definitely worth mentioning is synchronize synchronize is the one move that is a psychic based move which basically made you 120 base attack on psychic and it is able, if your opponent is an electric type, to, of course, inflict damage. If it isn't an electric type, you will not be, of course, able to pull it up. So while it is, of course, very, very situational, it is still a great filler move if you know you're facing off against, of course, another electric type in mind. Now, of course, with that said, you guys already know that Manectric might actually triumph a little bit here. And what I mean by that is that Manectric has a lot of filler moves that makes it a bit more desirable. Foremost is of course Flamethrower and Overheat. The reason they are so relevant is because Jolteon in general are very very reliant on Hidden Power Ice because of Grass-type being able to actually wall it fairly well. With Flamethrower and Overheat in mind, Manetric are able to take on that matchup with of course little to no issue. But it's not only stopping there. Manetric has, while it is as stated due to it being lower special attack and speed, thus have Switcheroo 
to make it of course able to already use choice items such as specs or choice scuff which might not actually sound all too good but remember these Pokemon in general are utilizing Thunderbolts and Volt Switch in mind so Manetric has the possibility of being faster or stronger than Jolteon just not, a, not both at the same time and of course it gets Snarl which of course lowers the attack of the opponent and it's a weird filler move but it actually gets it which is something that I really want to abstract here that it actually utilizes itself fairly well and uh, outside of that it has a more relevant physical move pool and this is something that I'm trying to not embrace because it is not a big advantage here, but it's worth mentioning because of one reason, that is a seam introduction in this game, which making some moves more reliable to actually be, of course, part of it. Of course, we have Ice Fang, which is something I really want to enforce, and of course, Iron Tail. As stated, it is due to seam moves alone because standalone, and of course, consider its attack. It is not the most desirable, but if you have to niche it out, then it's able to pull that off due to the extra base 10 attack. So with all this said, I'm not gonna make this very very easy for me because on the one side, Jolteon is the better Thunderbolt Volt Switcher. It is no denying that fact, it's definitely the better. It triumphs over the Manetric over and over again. So even if I look at the move pool, is Manetric niche enough to actually be more relevant than Jolteon? It is very easy for me to say no, it is not. But once Simu now introduced, it get kind of tougher, and I do believe Manetric eventually actually got a chance here to pull itself to be the more relevant one. The thing here is, yes, Jolteon does have bad impasse, it does have a broader move pool, it does have hidden power, which can actually utilize itself really, really, really well. And I only got a statement, of course, on Twitter, which is the, definitely the one I want to respond to since I have the chance of pulling it off here. Yes, it does get Shadow Ball, yes, it is a strong niche. But they both get Signal Beam, and it's very likely that Signal Beam are the more desirable one if you go in to be able to, of course, have that neutral hit. And even if, you know, the counter statement is that, yeah, sure, but that does not hit neutral on Shadow Ball, Manetric does get Flamethrower. It is a big difference here. Manetric is not as easily forced out. Even if Jolteon, of course, essentially are able to, of course, do heavy damage on any matchup hell, even use it with life for our specs, it would be very very likely to use it because it is the better electric type when it comes to spamming what you do. But if you go in through what they're able to do outside of his ground niches, Manetric does have advantage. I'm not gonna take that away. So it really boils down to those extra things that Manetric can do that Jolteon cannot, and that is the reason I would deem Manetric the stronger between these two. The worst part is, I'm kind of expecting to get a lot of hate for this because, as I stated here, Jolteon is the better spammer when it comes to electric type moves. That's not gonna go away. That's, I'll even go so far and say that between these two, it's very clear that Jolteon can pull that off. It just comes down to that those extra things that Manetric can do solves a lot of more issues than, of course, Jolteon can do. Jolteon will always will be born to hidden power eyes to be able to at least get enough momentum or enough shift to do well. Bolt Beamer is always, of course, the, the move you want to get for, but Manetric has to, of course, due to Flamethrower, has the accessibility of doing a bit more to other grass type. It doesn't need to even go up against him. It can run Hidden Power Grass with little to no issue, which is more desirable because that means that at least you can hit the rock Grass type much, much better than forcing yourself a Hidden Power Ice, which is very, very clear that Jolteon has to do. It doesn't mean that Jolteon is bad, and as I said here, Specifically, the speed that Jolton represents are enough to make it a lot better than Manetric when it comes to the spamming of electric type moves. But we're actually gonna look through the and more specifically, if we look at the more complex here, Manetric are able to do the things that Jolton simply are not, and if you're able to of course switch a in a more diverse physical move pool than we now with C moves in mind, Manetric can push a bit more boundaries than Jolton simply cannot. And that is the reason I'm gonna give it the edge here. But as stated, it could do, uh, just as well turn the other way around because it all depends on what you're looking for in a battle. So with that said guys, what do you guys think of today's episode? Like I said, I know I am pushing a few buttons here and that's that's my opinion. I, I actually prefer Jolteon, but I really have to appreciate my Netri for what it is. It's definitely a Pokemon I do believe are pretty underrated, consider that it actually is very diverse and much much more than I really thought it was. I only knew it for the Mega Form and... The regular form is definitely not bad. So yeah, and with that said guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, of course, take care. And next episode will be of course on 
these guys.